All right, we're here with Nathan Towell, uh, left fielder for Alley Oop. And uh, Nathan, unfortunately, you're uh, watching this game on the sidelines. But the good news is JT had a game winning uh, walk off triple. Uh, should be happy about that. I'm thrilled. As a father, it's what you really uh, practice with them when they're little kids. And to see that's beautiful. It made me very happy, at least for the moment, until he does something bad. <laughs> now, tell us, uh, when, as JT was growing up, did you think he had the potential to be MVP candidate and top player in the league? I knew it. I really did. I really did. He's a special talent, and I knew it from when he was uh, four or five years old. I called it from back then. Oh. So. Now, when you were uh, you at your peak at 23 and him at uh, 20, 21, what do you think? Uh, who's a better player? Me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he no. asked me all the time, but I said, not yet. You'll, you'll get there, though. You, you're on pace, but not yet. Well, he could be, uh, you know, if he pulls through, he's getting a lot of MVP votes. He could be one of the youngest MVPs in the in the league and uh so tell us last week uh what was the problem your team came in very uh highly touted as a favorite after starting out six and oh and really uh last week was just a complete no show the whole year we really didn't hit the ball that well if you check our averages out uh, during the season nothing impressive as a whole uh playoffs came and same thing our defense was very good but better team won you know um, that's it really First of all, uh, let's about your uh, own personal performance. A lot of talk in the league was you played some of the best left field that's been played in this league for many years. You, did you do anything uh, different in the offseason to get ready? Just a lot of vacations. Less stress, I guess. <laughs> all right, that's the secret now. Uh, plenty of vacations uh, for some of the outfielders that can't field over here. Um, Nate, now uh, what do you think the Dodgers' chances this rest of the way? Dodgers will win everything easily, no problem. I called it from before. They have the two best plays in the league. Ike Yadid, best pitcher. Jackie Tao, best play in the league. So between those two, they're going to win it all. All right. We'll see. Uh, Grip, it looks like they ran away with game one. So uh, if it holds true to form, might have a great World Series. Yes. I think it's going to be really, really good. But you know what? They still have to win game yeah. two and three. And, uh, you know, we play out the games. Let's see what's happening. Right, well, why don't we talk to us about the awards uh, presentation? Uh, what's on tap this year? Uh, probably going to be the beginning of August. We'll have a nice barbecue, uh, maybe a sit-down dinner this year. Oh, wow. And uh, barbecue, and it should be, a, you know, with 10 teams now, it should be like a sellout. So everyone will get their tickets early. <laughs> we'll see if we can't get them to show this year. They're never going to come. We say that every year. But once again, uh, an outstanding uh, season, Nathan, and... Uh, Good luck for Jackie the rest of the way, and uh, we'll see how it goes uh, the rest of the postseason. Thank you. Thank you.